Ozzy Griffin doing a redo of a video to uh, Not In My Name. He was quite right when he got into my comments section and said, you're not really addressing what I'm saying in uh, the videos. Never let it be said that I'm un unreasonable. <sighs> Do religious communities condone violence? No. Do they condone one acting on the messages of God? Yes. Do they approve of killing your children on a message from God? Technically, no. In the Old Testament, this is going back a bit, there is the story of uh, one of the patriarchs of the church going to sacrifice his own son and stopping at the last moment. This is the classic example of having faith. Christians believe that one guy died approximately 2,000 years ago to get around all that ever having to happen again. And since everything someone does is a form of communication, it should stand to your reason as well as to mine that the tragically fragmented minds of the people who are suffering these psychotic breaks, which are, as I said, often induced by uh, going cold turkey off of serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Now, these people will interpret the disapproval of others, of their seemingly absolutely necessary actions, as agents of a darker, unnameable force. Because that is how they interpret their disapproval. And they can't reconcile that disapproval with what they are uh, heart with the most heartfelt intention believe is for the good of everyone else. The truth is that whether it's fantasy novels, and I've seen that unfortunately, uh, or anything else, there is... These people have trouble communicating via normal channels how they feel and why they want to react it. That's why they develop a lot of these deep schisms, what Sean Blackwell called in his book, Am I Bipolar or Waking Up? Uh, a spiritual emergency. And even if you don't believe in spirit, uh, he shows some secular... Um, therapy techniques without a medication alternative that have remarkable success rates. I mean, just blows the conventional stuff out of the water for rehabilitating people. I'm not talking about drugging them up and saying, yeah, well, they won't cause any problems like this. I'm talking about having them become functional members of society again. And when you take the easy route of blaming religion and claiming that it's endorsing crazy behavior, and the answer is that it's not. Even uh, some Native American tribes, though they would endorse eccentricity, they would not, they would never uh, endorse someone being outright harmful. And even down, and I'm going back here, even down to the Aztecs and the Mayans, almost 500, 600 years ago, uh, when the Aztecs were ruling happily. Their leaders were basically sociopathic and had deliberately, I believe, misinterpreted a belief about the human body mirroring nature. So between sociopathic cult leaders who are deliberately manipulating others for their own pleasure and or profit and people who are schizophrenic and are misinterpreting the words of uh, even just common fantasy novels. You really can't say that the majority of people are really communicating to these people that it's okay to hurt somebody outside of um, some very extreme religious practices. And I, th and I still stand by what I said that uh, we could cut down on this a lot more 
if we uh, looked at alternatives to drugging people up on Zoloft, uh, Paxil, and a lot of other drugs like that, the serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Anyway. Thank you very much for your time. I hope this has been a lot clearer than my last video and have a good afternoon.